Okay, I, you know, people have been asking me, you know, for most of this winter about mosquitoes. And because everyone's like, you know, we need this really, really cold weather because it'll to kill, kill, off to the kill mosquitoes. mosquitoes. I'm like, well, it doesn't work that way. I mean, yeah. so, so I want to I want to show you I want to give you a little perspective here on how warm it's been. So it's been warmer than normal this this uh, this winter. Remember winter, December, January, February, meteorological winter. So uh, the average during that time is forty nine point three degrees. So we're a, a degree and a half above normal so far this winter. We've only had 14 freezes so far this winter. The normal is 24, so we're 10 below normal, if you will. I don't know that many people are complaining, except for you mosquito haters. And I only have one more freeze in my forecast over the next 14 days. And if you extend that out to 15 days, I only have one more freeze for the rest of the month, which is the remainder of meteorological winter. So what about those pesky blood sucking mosquitoes? Do cold temperatures really kill mosquitoes? Well, think of it this way, okay? You look at these mosquitoes. They thrive in states like Alaska, in Minnesota, where it's bitterly, bitterly cold. They thrive in those states, okay? The cold temperatures, the impact it has, it doesn't kill them. But the cold temperatures, it just causes them to be inactive during the winter. And it can also delay their emergence in the spring. Those two things in mind, you throw this one in as well. And remember, all the mosquitoes that we have right now, they're all descendants of mosquitoes that live through the ice age. They live through the ice age. I don't think some cold weather in Texas is going to kill the mosquitoes. Certainly not. Let me show you what's happening out there right now. Nothing more than a few clouds rolling through the area right now. That's midnight. Watch this. Yep, clouds increase as we head through the overnight. So we start tomorrow mostly cloudy. And we're going to stay mostly cloudy as we head through the day tomorrow. There's noon tomorrow. Rain moves into uh, deep south Texas as we head through Thursday night. Look at that, a good soaking down there. Here comes a cold front on Friday. The front's on top of us at 1 o'clock Friday afternoon. Watch this. A little bit of spotty rain. I'm talking 20% of us pick up a little bit of rain as we head through the uh, the afternoon on Friday. A little higher coverage in East Texas, but other than a spotty shower or two, about 80% of us stay dry as we head through Friday. And then sunshine across the area on Saturday, and then sunshine on Sunday. And then Saturday morning, these areas are likely to see a freeze. It's possible for these locations, not likely for anyone else, but on Sunday morning, a different story, a little bit colder, likely from the Dallas-Fort Worth area north, and then south of the cities of Dallas and Fort Worth, it's possible, but get ready for a, a big cool down as we head through the weekend. We were in the upper 60s today, 71 tomorrow, 10 warmer than normal, nine warmer on uh, the normal on Friday when we hit 70. There's a Friday afternoon cold front. It's going to be chilly on Saturday. Saturday's highs, many of us won't make it out of the 40s. Officially, my high is 50 degrees, 59 on Sunday. So cooler than normal these days. And then we jump right back up to 71 and well above normal on Monday. Tonight, clouds increase, dry, cool, and breezy. 52 is a low tonight. During the day tomorrow, a dry, warm day with light winds, mostly cloudy. The sunshine the last couple of days, we won't have it tomorrow. Sunshine is gone, mostly cloudy. Cloudy skies return 70s Thursday, Friday, low chance of rain Friday, Saturday, Sunday, chilly Sunday's low 32. So there's that freeze. There's the one day out of the next 14 days where we have a freeze and then we're back into the 70s Monday, Tuesday, Monday, by the way, is President's Day, Wednesday, 80 70s on Thursday, 60s Friday, Saturday and Sunday with another chance of rain returning the following weekend.